Hi, welcome to a new playlist of videos we're going to be creating in the next couple of days about the program or centered on Wirecast. In the very first video, I'm going to be showing you how to add your stream settings to Wirecast. So, once you have Wirecast downloaded, opened, and ready to go, one of the most important things is adding, I guess, the encoder settings so you can actually go live and you can send your stream to uh, your website, Facebook, YouTube. Um, Instagram, you know, a ton of different places. So first things first, in our video we're going to be showing you how to add your stream settings, for example, to go live to your website or the TV panel. Um, and in our channel a couple weeks ago we also made how to go live to Facebook and YouTube through our stream TV panel. So this would be basically the same setup, only we're right now we're going to be streaming to the panel itself to then send the content. So first things first, we're going to want to head, go ahead and open up the program. Then we're going to go to Output at the very top, Output Settings, and then we're going to click on uh, select an output destination, destination RTMP server. When you open up, you have a ton of different options that we'll be going through in the next couple of videos. Uh, you've got Twitch, Vimeo, YouTube, Facebook Live, Facebook Live with the user code, Brightcove, Akami, uh, Multicast, Unicast. But for the most uh, most of the time, you're going to be streaming to your website or the TV panel. And for that, we're going to click on RTMP server. Then we just click on OK. And basically here to our left, we see here our TMP server gets added to, I guess, like the queue or the list of what's going to be going live. And we can give it a name up here. Uh, let's say we want to put, for example, Sunday Services. We rename it Sunday Services, and it shows up also to our left over here, and it gives it a name. Destination, our TMP server, the same thing that we selected at the very beginning. Our TMP server. Then we can click encoding. Encoding, I guess, is the quality of what we're going to be streaming. Uh, you open it up and you have a ton of different options. Uh, 480p, 260p, 240p, 360p, 540, 720, and above. Um, if none of these qualities really fit your needs, what you can do is click on the little gear icon, view details, and automatically it opens up, well, I guess, a bigger options of a uh, bigger set of options. Um, the bit rate, for example, you got 4,000 kilobytes per second. Um, we can go to frames per second. We can up that to uh, 60. Height, width. Normally, we people or we use uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, encoder that normally stays the same. Keyframes. Uh, then the audio. We got stereo or mono. Uh, target rate. We normally choose 128, but you can even up to 192. And the sample rate 4400, 4800, or 4800. I mean. So we have a couple of different options, and then if you made an option or a change here, then all you would do is click on Save As. You give it a name. For example, preset. For Sunday services, we're going to name it. And this, but what it does is it saves as an option so you can choose in the future without having to basically re-add it every time. We click OK. And then we're going to click on Save. And then it will close it. And then we can click on 1080p. Or we can also click on Preset for Sunday services. And it basically saves our um, our preset, our quality, the audio, etc. And then once we have that set up in the encoding portion, then we just enter the information. The address is normally the RTMP link. The stream, if um, most of the time we don't require it or activate it, but you can also use the live authentication, which means that you would have to put in your stream, you know, your little username, I guess, and then the credentials. You put your username, password, and then click OK. And then it basically just confirms the account and all of that. And then you just click on OK. And you click broadcasting, and for me, it's gonna not work, you know, because I have nothing set up. But on your end, what you should see is it'll flash green, maybe once or twice, and then it'll stay a solid green. And you'll see here on stream, it'll start. It's got a little timer on it. It'll start going up and down. And basically, what you'll uh, you'll have like a little stream countdown, or I guess a timer of how long you've been live. And then basically, just to turn off the stream, let's say you, you're done streaming for the day, you just click on the icon one more time, and it'll go from green to gray. So I'm just gonna give it a second here, so I can say the error. Once again, I get the error because I didn't set anything up. Hopefully, you don't get the error. And if you do, you can just leave me a question in the comments below, and I'm happy to help you out. But uh, just one more time, you know, to add our stream settings, we can click on Output, Output Settings. It, uh, it automatically ends it over here, but you would just add your address or your RTMP link, your username, the credentials, and then down here in the bitrate, it'll tell you, I guess, how or what quality you chose. Uh, the stream delay, you can also put a stream delay in. Let's say you want to stream content, but you don't want it to be right on the dot. You can add maybe five seconds, and but it will use more memory usage like it says here. Um, but basically, once you have that set up, you just click on OK, and then you do the whole process. We click on the very little icon that's like a little Wi-Fi or signal strength icon, and then you just click on it. It'll go green, and you'd be all set. Um, like I said before, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down in the comments below. Um, please subscribe to the channel because the next couple of days we'll be uh, releasing a lot more videos on Wirecast. And if there's any video you would like to see, just leave them in the comments uh, and we can send it to the video team and they can pass it over to me and 
and I'm happy to record a video for you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a great day, okay?